What's up guys and thank you for tuning in. Today's video is pretty interesting. I'm super excited about it because today I'm going to be taking a look at something that's pretty different. It's something that's different because I kind of found out about its existence a little bit ago and kind of kept my eyes out and it's something that uh, actually ended up popping up. I really never expected to see one. To preface, I'm kind of into like movie memorabilia stuff, like really weird stuff, stuff from like, you know, kind of like little slivers of history from the movie's release. So like theatrical movie posters, stuff that actually hung in theaters, there's a little like promotional buttons, things like that. I think some of that stuff is really cool because again, it's kind of mark of history of when the movie actually released and like that moment in time. I have some other stuff like that already in my collection, but uh, I might show some of that stuff compared. But uh, today is about something very specific. It's about something I got in the mail, something I was watching there for a little bit. I talked to the gentleman who was selling it and uh, after talking to him for a little bit, I decided to pull the trigger. And it's absolutely a piece of movie release history from a little movie, if you've watched my channel before, you might know that uh, you know we kind of like it around here uh, but yeah this little movie that you might have heard of this is what it's from and what we have here ladies and gentlemen is surprisingly still in the shipper box this is a original cardboard standee advertising the release of child's play so this standee was not actually theatrically used this is something that was actually used to promote the release of the video cassette come into a video store near you about you know 30 plus years ago so Child's Play released in 1988, and it used to take a really long time for VHSs to come out. So this thing is from about 1989 or 1990 or so, probably like 89 closer. This was shipped to video stores just like this in this type of box. And I just it's really interesting to see this part of history because the movie had already come out in theaters. They knew it was a pretty good hit. So to see that even like, you know, the shipper box, I, I've worked at several movie theaters before and received a lot of marketing material just to like, you know, move it to the people that are supposed to be putting it together. And uh, a lot of it doesn't look like this. They don't, you know, they don't make it like this anymore. I'm sure some movies do, but a lot of the time it's just like a little sticker or a tag these days that says what it is. But uh, yeah, look at how out they went with Child's Play here and their little, you know, good guy feet prints on the box. And I have not opened this. I have not looked at it yet. I've actually been saving this for about a day or two. It's Easter weekend, so I've been kind of crazy busy, surprisingly, um, and doing other life stuff. So um, it's kind of heavy to hold it like this. And uh, it, it's supposed to be about six feet tall. Um, the guy didn't post any um, uh, scale pictures of it, but he did say about how tall it was. And he said that this thing has been pretty much sitting in the box for about 30 plus years uh, since it was originally used and then pretty much put away. So um, I've talked enough about it. So when I open this, you're going to be kind of seeing my initial reaction. I'm going to open it. We're going to take a look at a couple parts of it and then I'll do a little probably fun little time lapse of putting it together and we'll take a look at the full thing and talk about it. So yeah, let's take a look at a movie history original thing from Child's Play. Alright, so sorry for the weird angle. I'm just going to go ahead and slice it like this. Again, I have a shipping label on this side of it. So I'm just going to slice it. We're going to open the doors like that and I'll just take out little parts and kind of look at it. And then at the end, we'll look at the full thing together. In the meantime, take a look at the Star Wars figures in the background. See if you can find some favorite characters or something. This thing is like crazy interesting. Uh, I've been looking for some like weird, again, slice of history type stuff. Like movie mylars and stuff like that that hung in theaters to advertise the films when they were showing. Um, I got some like neat newspaper clipping recently from Bride of Chucky about the showtimes in New York City when it came out. So uh, weird random stuff like that. And in looking for basic stuff, I found this. And this is kind of like some crazy creme de la creme type stuff, I guess. Unbox and be able to build as if I worked at a video store about 35 years ago, um, something that existed before I did. I'm able to take a look at it like this. It's pretty surreal. Oh, I can see parts of it. Oh man, this is sweet. I, mean, I want to be delicate about this. I don't want them to like fall out or jump at me. Alrighty, so... <laughs> So again, this thing, uh, the gentleman, some people might be like, that didn't sit in a box for years. Cardboard is fickle. It doesn't keep a lot of, um, doesn't have a lot of like durability to it. So stuff like that can happen to it. So I'm actually really excited about the size of this, that it's not as gigantic as I thought. So um, they're again, very uh, upfront about some of the fraying on this. Now, uh, I'm not upset about that. I, I really am not, mostly because... Uh, Eventually this thing will get dinged or one of my cats will run his head into it or bite it and it'll end up with a scratch So the fact that it's not in perfect condition and I'm not the one that didn't make it in perfect condition actually makes me feel a lot better So that is the title part and then obviously we have this dude So again, this is the first time I have seen this and it is in really again keep in mind 35 years and in a box fantastic condition look at the look at the actual uh quality of the ink on that it's not faded or anything like that you would think that if any part of this was displayed in a house not completely built it would have been this part of it and he looks pretty good 
And I don't know, look at that. I don't know, just the aging on it actually just kind of adds to it in my opinion. So the rest of this actually looks pretty simple. And uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and reposition the camera and we'll go ahead and get this thing built pretty quick. And so here we have the standee all built for the first time. So I kind of wanted to build it and took some photos real quick. And now I'm back and now I'm ready to talk about it because this thing is just really, really fucking cool to be able to see with your eyes. And the fact that I was able to put it together is, that was quite the experience. It's a little silly, but again, it's really cool. It feels like a participation in the history aspect of, again, a movie that existed before I existed. So this all predates me. It's really cool to be able to handle it. So this is the full thing. I cannot get the full thing in the frame, but that's okay because I'm going to get some shots of it going over the full thing. Don't worry. You're probably looking at it right now. And this thing is silly impressive. So you'll see a lot of the fraying over, over this as we go over it. Now again, a lot of this is probably some shelfware, a lot of it sitting in the box, sliding around the box, and a lot of the fraying is either on the edges or on parts of the box that actually bend. So it's probably from the fact it was displayed before about 35 years ago and then put back in a box for a while and maybe displayed once or twice since. But bending the cardboard in the back while actually building it and feeling the, you know, kind of perforated uh, lines on the cardboard, this thing has definitely not been like exercised a lot. This thing is not weak or anything structurally it feels really good to actually handle and build so i don't think this thing was really strung up haphazardly this thing really does seem to have been stored probably to the best of their ability for 35 years i know if i stored this thing for 35 years it probably would not look anywhere near as nice it probably wouldn't exist anymore but you've got the credits on the bottom, obviously, Don Mancini, who wrote it, Tom Holland, who directed it, produced by David Kirshner, who found the screenplay, blah, 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 all that fun history stuff. And also, for those of you who might not know it, um, it has the price tag for the VHS down there. And, uh, yeah, it, it was $90 to get the VHS back in the day. You can get the 4K today for only, like, 30 Get my movie Child's Play at just $89.95. What the hell? But hey, you also were able to get this on Laserdisc. So you have all the credits down there. It's a nice little miniaturized version. As you go up, you're going to see Chucky. He's standing there. It's a nice shot of Chucky. It's a promo shot of Chucky that at least I've not seen it very often. It doesn't seem like it's very common. Seems like something that was really used back in the day and then never really revived. He has his voodoo knife and he's got the burn mark on his cheek. And obviously he's got the fraying up there on top of the hair. And up top has the start of the quote, Chucky did it. So Chucky did it was something that was used in the marketing of Child's Play. It's something that was used in Cult of Chucky and it's something that's been kind of referenced 
here and there, but yeah, the fact that this was actually used as kind of a tagline back in the day, there it is, bold face front on the cardboard standee. The back of it isn't anything crazy, nothing really to write home about. Again, it's kind of just a little cardboard labyrinth of structures that keep this thing standing upright, and that's pretty much it. And then you have the Child's Play logo on the front. That's in really great condition. Again, doesn't seem like it's been frayed or messed up or bumped into a lot. So the way this thing comes together is, again, really nice for 35 years old. And there's a couple things that I kind of want to show off here. So again, this is a piece of Child's Play movie history from back in the day when it was released. So this is the video store standee, but I do also have, which it might look bad on camera because of the glare, but this is an original rolled 27 by 40 poster of Child's Play from back in 1988. Again, predates me and everything. You'll see this if I make a collection video, which I do plan to make a collection video fairly soon. But here are two pieces of marketing material from back in the day from the original Child's Play. Sorry, my frame there kind of sucks, but hey, they're both here, I promise. That's something I actually bought a few years ago because Alex Vincent and I believe Fiona Dorif and Brad Dorif were gonna be at Days of the Dead, and um, that convention was supposed to take place in June of 2020, and guess what did not happen. So I do have like Brad and Fiona, Alex and Christina Lee's. I have a whole lot of signatures already, but I did wanna go and meet them again, but now, you know, praying, I'm sure I'll get the chance again, knock on wood, we'll get the chance to meet them at a convention again. Now that I wasn't able to get this signed, now I'll be able to take it as well as maybe part of this to get signed. It'd be really cool to maybe either get Chucky or maybe get the actual Child's Play title card on this signed, but I don't know, I think it'd be really pretty. Or do you think I should just keep it pristine? No, don't get it signed. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And also I have to say thank you. I'm almost at 900 subscribers. I can't believe I just kind of shot past the 800 mark, so I do very much appreciate it. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, I'd very much appreciate it if you did. Help me get to a thousand before my birthday there in May would be really fun for me and uh, you know maybe I'll start taking this a little bit more seriously uh, but yeah thank you all so much and if you like this video feel free to hit that subscribe button but I do have another piece of video store advertising history and again also from the Child's Play series fancy enough this is again a poster this is a 27 by 40 but not theatrical this is the video cassette advertised version that hung in movie theaters for Bride of Chucky so again as you can see this is just some weird uh, not really weird posters are pretty common but uh, I'd say this is pretty weird but I'm really interested in like weird memorabilia from that time of when the movie came out. Like this is something I got recently I don't think I'll be able to make a full video out of but this is again a newspaper clipping of Showtimes from Central New York City and all around opening weekend back in 1998 for Bride of Chucky. So again some people might think this is stupid but it's a nice preserved little piece of frameable history uh, marking the release of the films and especially since Chucky's no longer in theaters and I'm a big proponent of going to the movie theater this is just a nice little thing to actually keep and mark. The other things I'm looking for right now are kind of like the Milers, the title cards uh, that were set up in older theaters for the Chucky movies but just random stuff like that I think is really cool very interesting and if you guys have any stuff like this in your collections I would love to see it just that weird random stuff that it wasn't sold in a Spencer's or a Hot Topic or anything like that it's something that just only really existed uh, when the movie was released as an advertisement but something that was kind of you know kind of lost to time. So I have seen these sell on eBay before. I know folks are probably going to ask where you got it. I did get it on eBay. I got it for about three over $300. Um, and I have seen them go in very pristine mint condition, I think within the past six months, for about five to $600. So these things are out there. They do pop up here and there. Um, I can't really point you in the right direction. If just go to eBay and try and look for it. Um, but I think it's really cool. Again, this is something that I don't know if a lot of people have room for it in their house. I don't know if I have room for it in my house. But it's here, it's gonna stay for now, and I'm really excited to have it. I'm really honored to be somebody who's gonna have owned this in their Chucky collection, and then at some point, hopefully move it on to somebody else's collection. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, have any remarks about this guy, this thing here, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to see some more pictures of it, if you'd like to hit me up for any specific shots or anything, any type of external information I might be able to offer that I can't offer in the comment section, please feel free to hit me up on Instagram or on Twitter, and that is both at DudesBooter. I try to post a lot of photos of the Chucky dolls, and I try to at least interact with folks a lot over there. It's something that's a lot more easier because the real social media is as compared to YouTube. So if you'd like to keep up in the conversation, feel free to hit me up over there. I will go ahead and answer, no, I'm not looking to sell this right now. But again, if you have any questions or other concerns about it, feel free to hit me up over there. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe for more Chucky coverage coming at you in the near future. And again, one of the videos I plan to do soon will be a collection tour uh, in which I'm able to go over some of the, I think, interesting stuff that I have. So hopefully you guys are curious about that. I'll be working on that here soon. But until that next time, guys, my name is Fizz, and this has been a well-preserved 35-year-old slab of cardboard movie history. Thank you for watching.
Now seriously, where the fuck am I gonna put this?